Hi guys, how are you? So stoked to be back after my little holiday. Be here and apologies if you hear my fan. I just refuse to not have a fan running because I will just die. So this video is very long due because this parcel actually got lost in the mail and then went back and then came back and so it's very late but I have a bunch of stuff to show you. So everything is in this box and I'm just going to pull a few things out to show you guys. So the first thing that I'm super super excited is the new calligraphy inks by Ferris Wheel Press. Before we begin, uh, Ferris Wheel Press is not sponsoring this video but I am part of their affiliate program so that means I get their little goodies ahead of time which in this case is not ahead of time it's actually quite late these have been out for over a month I think so these are quite late in the sense of for other people but for me they are absolutely new and I am super excited to share them with you guys something else I also have here are is the new fairy tales which is Little Mermaid so it's called tumultuous tides and it's a teal with a black sheen hmm interested about that and then we also have a golden gate glow which is their new everyday ink and then <laughs> i also have two brush fountain pens no two carousel pens actually apologies for that mistake and it's the one for the um, the fluttering heart edition and also for the Cinderella glistening glass. So I did not have the glistening glass ink, but I will be able to try the pen. And also finally, let me get the box out. Finally, we also have a little sample. They are currently doing a collaboration with Esterbrook, which I think it's like a very fancy stationary pen making thing. I'm not entirely sure but it's very space themed so I have a little sample of the color and this is actually gorgeous so I might actually just keep it as a bookmark because it's super pretty. I will do a proper swatching of everything. I don't think I'll be doing an artwork just yet because this is a lot of inks and I really just want to focus on everything. I'll be going back on my word when I previously said what I, I will not only do swatching videos I will combine them but for this case, I think since it's so much stuff, I actually just want to dive in and try them out. Let's do that for now and then in the future I will do a video just probably playing with these in special because I really want to play with these in special in particular. I'm not sure I'm fully back. I think I might need to change my schedule either for two, uh, two videos a month. I need to figure it out because... Uh, I not gonna lie, this holiday felt like a dream and I don't think I'm at a position, at least mentally, where I can manage every single video per week, so I'm not sure yet, but I'm excited to be back. So, uh, I'm going to save this for last because I just really, really wanna... I wanna do them so therefore last. <laughs> we can start with just... let's start with the pants because these seem actually very pretty. So these are just actually super, super pretty. At least the packaging, which it always is. You can see a little preview of the pen right there. So let's check it out. Oh, this one is metal. Oh. Okay, so I checked. This is aircraft grade aluminum, which... Okay, aircraft. Ne no, never thought... That would be it. <laughs> I don't know, it's just interesting. So it says the carousel here on the, the cap and on the other side it says Ferris Wheel Press. It's this very gorgeous rose gold slash copper color. It's very beautiful. It sounds very, very nice. Ooh. Okay, so it has some etching right there of the butterfly design from the box of the fluttering heart ink which is actually very pretty and the nib I believe is a fine let me see I think it said on the box fine yeah which I actually prefer might not be the best in case of shimmer inks it might not let so much shimmer through but I actually really prefer it so let me just 
uncap it and yeah, have here the little um, refill thing. I don't remember the name now. Oh, it has a little ball. I don't think it had a ball before, which is actually pretty nice too, shaking the glitter ink. So maybe that's why they did it. It's actually really handful. So yeah, when I fill this out, I will have that in mind. Okay, so it just snaps in place and there we go. I will say, I don't love the feeling of the etching on my fingers. Like it's um, it's not that bad, but it's, it's rougher than the rest of the pens. So I don't really love the feeling it creates. It's beautiful, but in terms of sensation, I will see how it feels when I write with it. If uh, it bothers me that much, but just holding it, don't really love the feeling of the um, the etching but we'll see might not bother me as much when i'm actually writing next we have the carousel for the glistening glass collection which again i did not i don't did not try this ink out it was a month where i could not um get the parcel some things happened <laughs> in my side i was a bit too busy I'm trying so hard not to ruin the package. Oh, come on. I usually open these just fine. Okay, I kind of did it by... Eh, kind of ruined this one, but it's fine. Oh, this one is also lumen. Ooh, and it's, it's matter. Like, it feels matte in comparison to this one. Let me eh, grab it. Come here. Yeah, and you can definitely see one is matte, one is quite shiny. Ooh, I like the feeling of the mat. Like you can see the difference of the finish. Oh, it also has on the bottom here, Paris Fuel Press. Did not notice that on the first pen. The carousels are usually in plastic. These are my other two carousel that I own. This one is actually a newer version, which is reinforced. Apparently some people had some issues with this one and they actually reinforced it. So this is a very lightweight, easy to travel with pen. And yeah, they also have the Ferris wheel press stamp there, which I actually never noticed. <laughs> In terms of size, they are pretty much the same, same shape, same pen, but just different barrel materials and finishes. So yeah, the matte one says exactly the same on all spots. Ooh, has a very distinct way to open. Oh. And it's also etched. It's like a chandelier, which is very beautiful. Does it bother me? Not as much. Actually, not as much. I think might be because the design is less complex, but it's just more, it's smoother. It's not as uh, chalkboardy. That's how I would describe the feeling of the other one. This one actually feels rather nice and I do not think it would bother me at all while writing, which good. That's very nice. Let me see if the um, filler, yeah, it also has the little ball, which I don't think they had before, but I really appreciate it because it's great for glitter inks where the ink just gets stuck. These are the limited edition pens that I got. I will do a little writing test to see how they behave. Let's check the Golden Gate Glow ink now. I believe it's just one of their newest like everyday inks and it's orangey, warm orange, bright, classic and spicy. It's not shimmer, but it's a very beautiful packaging as always. You have some very cute animals playing on the beach, which is very appropriate for the weather now. Oh, I like the sun there. It's very, very pretty. And a little sun castle. No, it's a factory. Oh, it's like, I believe, like a pen factory, which is very cool. Let's check it out. I managed to open it without ruining it anything. Ooh. Okay, it's quite vibrant, actually. You can see it quite well. This might be a fun color. Not the most exciting color for me personally, but it seems like a fun one to paint with and even write with. 
so i will definitely give it a swatch try it out now we have the little mermaid one this one currently is out of stock but they usually restock them pretty currently like pretty fast <laughs> i'm out of practice guys i'm out of practice it's an ocean teal with silver shimmer characteristics are luminescent moonlit oceanic and aquamarine lots of characteristics i like that i'm interested with the black sheen extremely curious with that the packaging is beautiful you can see a little sword the fishies the little ship right there eagles oh the shell cast yourself a sea in a torment torment of romance but careful who you make deals with the cost may be more than you're willing to play pay <laughs> waves surge and crash over jeweled depths sea foam swirls across the surface reminder of love lost and glory gained very very romantic <laughs> so yeah i actually love the packaging have a little crab there cutie Ooh, i like this one with the moon <laughs> i think this is my favorite bit <laughs> let's open this guy up Ooh. i just really like the boxes of the fairy tales even though they are kind of impossible to film my camera just pretty much hates them <gasps> oh yes the glitter look at the glitter i missed glitter i'm so curious with the black sheen I'm really gonna like load it up to see if the sheen comes through. That is actually stunning. In this case, my camera is filming it way more blue than teal for some reason. It shows way more blue. It's actually very, very teal. Even in this camera, it's just picking up blue, but it's super teal. I can guarantee you it's actually teal aquamarine precisely that it's like seawater it's beautiful and the glitter is actually really cool when i move it around makes patterns of like sea foam and waves it's a shame that it's not picking up because it is beautiful okay i'm really am leaving the <laughs> the writing inks for last so this is the a collection uh collaboration they're doing with esterbrook we invite you to join you our multicolored intergalactic journey I saw the fountain pen that they're doing with this collaboration. It's a multicolored one. It's very beautiful. Very different from Ferris wheel usual vibe. So I have a little vial and I am definitely going to keep this as a bookmark because this is stunning. So this is Esterbrook Nebulous Blue. So that's the name. Estabrook Nebulous Blue about the ink itself. So I did not found any information on their website. Probably swatch it just a little bit. I, I've always adored the little sample sizes. It looks like a battery. It has the little negative and positive. It's just something, a little detail that I've always loved with their sample sizes. Okay, now, now we can go for these ones. When I tell you I've been so excited for this one, I cannot tell you. I just hope I love these for painting because I'm so curious. So we have four colors. We have Bright to Be, Sage Advice, Borrowed Blue and Sweet Briar Rose. So let me, let's look at the package of them individually because they are so beautiful. So Sweet Briar Rose, we have some very delicate little mini portraits, roses. So this is premium quality, waterproof, smudge resistance, durable and light fast. You see why this sounds so cool to draw with and you can have a little sneak peek of the color right there. This probably needs to shake because it's been just sitting on my, on a box for a while. I have had this for a while, but then my holiday came and I just need the rest. So I'm just really excited. Oh, it's really like securely on there. I just love how they did that. Let me give it a shake. Okay, there you go. You can see that much better. The jars are absolutely delicious. Like with this little ridges, they're just adorable. I have a little sticker of foiled professional calligraphy ink. The cap is slightly different. I'm checking to see these are actually all sold out, which is a pity, but Again, I got these super late to me, but I still wanted to share them with you guys. 
So yeah, so these are opaque pastels formulated legibly for black paper stock, which is very cool. You should only actually use dip pens. You don't really want to use your fountain pens with these because it will clog them <laughs> because these are thick, these are waterproof. That means that once they dry, they may clog your fountain pen. The cap is a, a thinner material than the usual caps. It's thinner material, but I think it fits quite nicely with the image of the ink. It opens nicely and ooh, it has a little silicone stopper, which I appreciate. Here, can you see it? Kind of. It's very, very subtle. I think you can see it there. So let's open it up just to check out the color. Ooh, okay. Not my fave because it looks like a sort of a beigey rose, but it has a smell that it just literally smells like paint, like painter's paint, which I actually really like. So uh, I like to sniff it, <laughs> but yeah, that's what the ink looks like. I'm really curious to swatch it and see. I want to see if they behave like, I don't know, like normal ink. Do they flow? Can I water them down? Do they pile up once they're dry? I want to try everything with them. So then we have bright to be. Here we go. Beautiful packaging, all pinks with champagne, a little gorgeous flamingo with a sash, bright to be and a beautiful hair. This flamingo is very fabulous. Same information as before. Actually it's just stunning. Here you have a little sneak peek of the color. So let's open it all up. I really like the preview they give you. I don't know, it's just packaging, man. It's such an interesting concept. Okay, this one was not as secure. <laughs> okay, this is actually very beautiful. How it is without shaking it. You can see like a little striation. Look, looks like um, sand art. <laughs> it's very beautiful, but we must shake. Oh, it did not go away, the striations. Maybe it needs more shaking, maybe it's fine. I'm not mad that they are not gone because I like, like them. So as long as the color is nice and mixed, that's all that matters to me. Ooh, yes, this one is gorgeous. I am, <laughs> I'm so excited about this one. Oh, I cannot wait to try these. Let's go for sage advice. If you know me, you know that green is not my fave, but this one might not be bad. It has little, oh, it has little cats for on the wallpaper. That's adorable. A little fancy deer. I think that's deer. And I really like how the um, the curtains are all different on the box, like how the curtains fall. It's a very nice detail that, that makes them more individual. I don't know, I, I like those details. <laughs> oh, that's so beautiful. Oh, I don't know, I like this part, this little preview. Ah, oh, that is stunning. I like that. <laughs> I like that when they are like this, like before mixing, they look so cool. <laughs> This one looks like um, a storm. I don't know, I like them, but we have to say goodbye. Let's shake it. Yeah, this one, yeah, this one. These probably need a very nice shake. They were they were so, so long on, on the same spot. I probably need to use a stick and stir them as well. They might have some very, like, a lot of sediment lot of uh, pigment settle on the bottom so I might need to stir them better than this but I'll do that when I swatch them I want to check it out Ooh. you know what I don't hate this and I still like the smell <laughs> I don't hate this color I should I probably shouldn't be sniffing paint but it's my channel I do what I want Ooh, oh boy I was not closing this right. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm already messing up. But preview. Hey. It's a little preview. I like it actually. 
Finally, we have borrowed blue and then we're going to go for swatching. I'm trying so hard not to mess up the boxes. So it's a super soft powder blue, I think. Uh, what's that? A lizard? Maybe? Maybe. I don't really like reptiles, to be honest. I have a small phobia of them, so I try my best not to know what's a lizard. I don't look that, that much, but yeah. Beautiful box. Oh, the sneak peek. You can see it right there. Very uh, well-matched boxes to the color ink, which is very nice. It's almost dry, which is very impressive. This part here, fully dried. Okay, sweetie, you need to come out. Oh no, I already messed up the cap. It already has sage advice on it, oh no. Oh boy, ooh, that is beautiful. I love how they look. They just look so beautiful. This one looks like the sky. It's so pretty, <laughs> like this bit here. They look actually very beautiful like this, but once again, we must shake. Okay. But yeah, they don't change that much. I think I really do need to go with the stick and like scrape the sides or something just to make sure they're all mixed before i actually try them Ooh. beautiful it's such a beautiful a friend of mine really loves this color i think it's like a periwinkle blue and it's so pretty ugh uh, okay another preview very beautiful <laughs> am i a makeup guru now switch swatching on my fingers Super beautiful. I am going to grab some supplies to swatch all of this and let's have some fun. Like I mentioned, this video is going to be all swatching. I won't be drawing. Oh, they stack up like this. Very cool. I won't be drawing for now because I just want to appreciate them and just swatch these. And then when I play with these, I will draw there. I grab my usual sketchbook right here. But for this experiment, I also grabbed a few things. So luckily, my brother for my birthday gave me a little new glass dip pen because if you remember, some of you might remember, my old one broke. That was very lucky. And he also gave me this very fancy schmanchy little quill to write with. And it has a dip pen in the end, which it's quite lucky. I I do have a few dip pens, but not many that I like per se. So this was actually very helpful to have. It came with more nibs, but to be honest, I have no idea where they are. So we'll use the one that's here for today. I have a very limited space table because there's a lot of inks today. I also will try and fill out a few of the fountain pens. Not sure with the inks that we got today, maybe. I'm just going to start swatching the inks and then I'll fill out the pen, maybe. Let's just go with it. I think I'm going to start with the Golden Gate because it's the lighter, so that should be fine. I don't need to shake it. I, I always have the urge to shake them now. It's engraved in me to shake the, the inks with all the glitter. Now the um, the opaque ones, so <laughs> it's quite engraved. Let's do a little swatch. Ooh. It's very uh, sunset adjacent, I would say. Let me do a little carrying on of the ink with water and I want to do just a swatch with water. And since I have this whole spread to try this out, I should be fine. I sometimes get carried away with the inks. Okay, it's not one that travels a ton. But it is pretty and a very nice and warm, rich tone, so I like that. Again, not the most exciting color for me especially with all the others that we had but it seems like it's a very nice rich tone which i'll give it that that is very beautiful let's try the little mermaid tumultuous tides 
Oh, look at the glitter. So beautiful. Again, it shows up blue and I don't know why. I'm gonna shake. Oh, and I'm, ah, oh, this is the one that has a um, black sheen. So I'm going to really pile this one up. I wanna see that sheen. Oh, if I can open it. Oh, it's beautiful on the inside. You cannot really see that. But it is very stunning. Oh, it is beautiful. Why does it show up like blue? This is really teal. It looks blue. More on this camera here. On this one, it's kind of picking it up, but it's doing some weird stuff. Okay, so this one, I think, will fly more. Let me do a little drop here. Yes, this one moves more. It likes to travel. <laughs> Let me do a little scoocheroo so it focuses there. I can see some of the sparkle yet, but I have not seen the sheen yet, so... I really want to see the sheen, but for that I think I need to pile it up. So I'm just gonna do a really heavy, really heavy swatch. You cannot give me black sheen and not have me excited, but the sheen is usually only seen when it's dry, so we'll see how that looks. I'll do a couple. Oh, the paper is weird there. It's probably my oils, my oils from my hands or something. But yeah, stunning color. My fave so far. Very beautiful. So beautiful. Okay. I'm excited to see the black sheen, but you'll probably only see that once it's dry, so... I will be a patient little lass, and I'll wait. I guess. <laughs> Okay, let me see how you are. You're clean as well. Now, let's go for the um, Esther Brook sample. I don't really know much about it, but from looking at it, it looks like it will be a blue with sparkles. You can see some of the sparkles right there. It looks like a rose gold sparkle, but we shall see. Okay, let me grab my little brush. It's so tiny barely fits the little sample thing. Oh, it's very blue. It's like almost ballpoint E blue. It's pretty though. Let me water you down. What do you look like watered down? Mm-hmm. Lighter than what I expected. I expect it to be more spacey sort of color. So let's see. So far, I cannot really see the sheen, I, uh, the sparkle. I think it's a little bit there, but maybe a bit softer. Okay, and let me do a little swatch with just plain water. I mean, the water is already <laughs> shiny. Sparkly, so because I used the tides plus this there, so it likes travel. I'll give it that. Which I mean, it's a space ink, so of course it likes to travel. I'm just going to drop like that, yeah, and use the, use up the rest of that that's here. I'm gonna do a really charged swatch. Why not? I have the room. I just want to see how this writes. Since this ink was done with a fountain pen collaboration, I think it makes sense that it's very classical in the way, in the color that it writes with, I, say, I think. So I think I'm actually going to fill up one of the fountain pens with this ink. So I'm going to use the fluttering heart pen to fill it up and if you've never filled up a fountain pen it's very simple actually you just pull it up I mean both of these have glitter so it's nice to try with a little ball on the thing so if you never seen uh, one of these guys okay so 
you have this little stopper here you push it down when you want to fill it up and then when you you dip this in the ink pot and then you just push it up you can do that directly from the pan as well it works as well i just i tend to do it straight from the pot no reason in particular to be honest just personal preference let me do this very quickly oh actually let me shake this if i can shake this with just that okay that was dangerous dangerous territory so i can try and have some sparkles and now you put this down put it right there and just fill it up and there we go and then you have your little pan filled up and then you just plop it on the little end there's a thing that connects and you feel a click and then it should start flowing sometimes i like to give it a little extra push just to have the ink flow and then it should be all ready to write it's already writing it's actually a very nice color to have on a fountain pen writes very nicely okay so now we do the same for this one just because i've run them they're basically the same so i don't really need to fill this up but i want to so let's try i'm going to use the tide ink because i want to and it's so pretty very nice looks like one of those gel pens that we used to use in school that had gel uh, glitter inside so okay i think that's in i think so so i'm gonna give it a little twist that's just my personal preference you don't have to do it in most in most cases it would do it just fine it's writing very nicely it's actually quite cute color aha it's starting to come through more my portuguese is showing in the case that i don't know how to write these names <laughs> We've swatched all of the inks that are water soluble, I uh, mean, that are not opaque. So, <laughs> let's go. I want to reserve, I think I can, mm, I think I can start on this little corner just so I can take advantage of the whole spread. I think I'm going to start with the one that I find less fun, which is the Briar. What's your name? Sweet Briar? Sweet Briar Rose. This is the one that I find least fun just because it's it's a beigey rose. It's not as punchy. Okay, so I'm going to do brush, then fountain pen. Oh, not fountain pen, nib pen. Okay, very opaque. Super opaque. Now, what I want to see, if I water you down, what happens? Do you become beautiful do you do gorgeous things let me know because some of these types of inks sometimes when you water them down become quite patchy but i don't think that's going to be the case actually it actually looks quite uniform okay, i want to do swatch with water see how it behaves do you flow <gasps> You do flow, and beautifully, might I add. Look at it go. Ooh, okay. I'm sorry I called you boring. You're not boring. Quite beautiful, actually. Ah, uh, this one is actually quite pretty. I see myself using this, like in actual painting so i'm super excited to try these oh let me try with a nib pen i'm just gonna dip it okay it works yay hello here in the corner super tight but it worked okay new water has acquired and actually, let me try something. If these are supposed to be waterproof... Okay, they do wash off. I was wondering if I would not be able to remove them from my hand. Let's go for the sage. I'm just going on the order that 
I mean, I'm going for less pigmented to more pigmented, if that makes sense, just so it's fun. <laughs> so shake it up very, very nicely. Yeah, these are already more unified. I think they just needed a bit of more shaky, shaky time. These are actually really, really opaque. I like, extremely opaque. But very beautiful. They're like, yeah, they are, they are pastels and they are very soft, which I like. I, oh, I didn't try to do this. I missed that. Mm, it's already dry. Oh, well. I will try on the other ones and hopefully it gives off the same effect. I don't think I'll see any color separation on these. Ooh. They do travel so, so pretty. Like the first swipe of color is like whoosh. Look at it go. I like this one. <laughs> I think I'm going to like them all actually. I think they might be... Oh. The writing test. I think I'm going to use the glass dip pen now. No. Come on, dip pen. Sage. And life. So now for the e e e. What was your name? Borrowed blue. This one. This is doing beautiful things, actually. I am quite happy how they flow. Did not expect them to flow this much. Oh, it's so cute. It's such a, such a cute color. Yeah, I'm quite excited to try and actually paint with this. Curious to see how it will behave as I use it. Okay. It's stirring the water very, very like, almost looks like matcha tea. <laughs> very opaque, indeed. Let me do the little thingy. Whoosh. Ah, I didn't do it this time. This one seems to travel less. Oh, no, no. Here we go. Might be a little bit of the paper that's not as friendly really happy with it that aspect means i can play with them in a more variety of ways Whoa. two r's all road blue oh i went a bit too hard on that it's actually my first time using this glass pen I think I preferred my older one. I still might try and fix it with um, some sandpaper. This looks very pretty as well. <laughs> Just like half of it completely covered. The pink, which I'm quite excited for that one. So our little bride to be. These have sort of a vibe like borrowed blue is I think something you do on weddings, like borrowing something blue. So bride to be. So these two have wedding vibes. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, ho, ho, ho. it's like that bubble, bu bubble, uh, bubble gum pink. That is so fun. And I really like the smell of these, to be honest. I really like it. It's very, I don't know, it's almost nostalgic. Okay, so I'm gonna do the little water thing. Yes, it did it! It really does go and I really like it. Fun. Curious to see how it dries because on the other ones it's drying with a lot of texture. So it means I, I might, I don't know, might not be a, something so so nice to use. So you can tell there it's drying with a little bit of texture, but we'll see. Okay, so I am done swatching and I will do some final clips so you can see how everything looks dry but I am going to wrap this video up because it's been 
over an hour and a half i think of recording for me so that was it it was a lot of stuff this part this parcel was actually huge you can go check all of these out i think some of them are out of stock like the the opaque inks are out of stock at the moment and i think the fairy tales ink as well but you can always check this out and you can sign up to their website and they will let you know when it's back in stock thank you so much for your patience when i said i needed this like little holiday thank you so much for watching and for being here do let me know in the comments which of these all of these inks is your favorite i think out of the normal inks this one is my favorite the tumultuous tides and out of like opaque inks what do you how would i call them? the calligraphy inks yeah the professional calligraphy inks I think my favorite is actually the blue. It's such a soft and just so sweet color. I just really, really like it. I will share clips of everything dry in the end so you can see for yourself. These are doing some very interesting textural things. So that's also very cool and something I can look at. And I think you can already see a little bit of the black sheen on this one. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and again, let me know in the comments your opinions. And it's good to be back, guys. I missed filming. I missed talking to you on the comments. So hopefully I'm able to do this more, but maybe at a more chill pace because I was, I was getting a bit tired. <laughs> a lot of tired. So this week's felt like heaven. I really needed to rest, prioritize my health my mental health so yeah i will see you in my next video bye guys